YouTube will be quick to be like. Wow, how it's festive. <laughs> Just like it belongs in a movie. Battery charged. You need the laptop there? No, I don't need a question. No, it's too bad. Did you turn it off? No. Yeah, I guess each song. I just want to make sure they can hear us. I well, you're, believe me, you are very loud. What's up, y'all? Welcome back. See, I feel like I gotta, I gotta, can you just pause it for one sec? I don't want to have to, I don't want to yell. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. You already know 2G's here. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, wherever you are in the world. No, oh, you're right. One eternity later. Yay! 
You know the instructions? You know how to do it? I don't know if I've ever done a gingerbread house. Like, it's the first time for everything. I think I have when I was younger, but not older. You know, I'm the healthy ghetto hood Santa, fake Santa's dad say, I got my, y'all make sure you eat fruits, okay? We're in a season of, of all this stuff that's going on, flus and RCVs. Hold up. Wait a minute. RSVs. RSVs and COVID, all this stuff. So, you know. This is the front of the house. See the walkway? That's what Santa needs to do. We need to give kids, he need to give us fruit. So you, you ice the bite, the base. Oh, you want me to do it? You can do it. And you sit these in there. Jasmine, what? I was... ice the base, not smell it. Just go like this? Yep. How much does that have to be? Just make your line. It's got to sit in there to hold it together. Oh! I need more. Keep squeezing. Keep squeezing. And then you need it to do all the sides. Alright. So now, I'm going to have to put my hand, put my hand. Yo, my mom too. She be, she be, she can do everything. She, wait, what'd you say? Oh, yeah. Which sides? Alright, yep, so. What are you doing? It was on my hand. I'm Here, 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 here. I need a napkin. You said this way? Y'all, if y'all didn't know, my mom could do everything. She could build, she could do construction, she could pay attention. Tile floors, she can put roofs on houses, she literally no. could do everything. I've never done a roof on a house. She can do everything though. I'm telling y'all she could do everything. Can we change him? Can we do like instrumental? Oh, that one there. And then set this one here. Now what? Hold it. I'm supposed to be asking us questions. Let me see. Here's a question, Mom. Christmas trees. Do you go with real or fake? <laughs> I go with fake. Why? I, I did. When I was a little girl, my mom did real until she got tired of it dying too fast, so she went fake. When I we did do we did do real and then she went fake. I definitely want to do I want to do a real Christmas tree. I do fake now, but I definitely do want uh, real the whole experience. Cause and when I be with Erica, mm -hmm. yeah, Auntie E, shout out to Auntie E and Mysterious Me. No, okay. <laughs> we um did the whole. I did it the past two years with her. We All did right, the so gonna... breaking the house. No. How am I supposed to put the roof on? So, all right, so you're gonna put ice in here, here, and then here, here. Okay. So with her, we, you know, I had the whole experience of going to search for a tree, and that was cool. So I definitely want like a real tree. What the heck Ma, is that? It's gotta be... Did you just call me your mom? <laughs> she just said ma. <laughs> Don't be afraid to use it because this thing gotta stick. It'll slide off. These questions are. Dookie juice. Jasmine, be nice. Gluing is a hard job, you know. Let's see. Okay, here's one. Ma, what is the best Christmas gift you ever received? That's a lot of sauce. I mean, well, you're being stingy with it. I'm and trying this to make gotta stick. I'm trying to make sure we have enough. Ma, what's the best Christmas gift? Oh! Christmas gift. Hey. <laughs> Jasmine, this is just turning, this is turning into a nightmare. Are you okay? Sit up. Now you want to ask if I'm okay? You just laughed at me. I did. I did. I asked if you were okay. Don't you know these seats go like that? I'm sorry. <laughs> You can't just be leaning on these seats like that. I'm literally... <laughs> Mom, look, I'm Sit literally, still! Literally crying. Okay, sit still and stop moving all over the place. Make sure you, make sure you eat some fruit. <laughs> sit your butt still. <laughs> Put your beard back on. Wait, oh, I can't breathe. I'm like literally, mom, like just literally laughing. <laughs> okay.
What is the best Christmas gift you ever received? I can't remember. Oh, what do you mean you can't remember? Can we have some, some icing, please? What is the worst kiss Christmas gift you ever received? I know! It wasn't, it wasn't the gift, it was the wrapping. Tell, tell, tell the, wait, we need to, we need to tell the God Gang fam what my dad did. I can't right. remember what the gift was. It says, what was the worst Christmas gift you ever received? The gift wasn't the worst thing, it was the presentation where, was it newspaper? No, it was like a, it said candy. Someone else's, you want me to tell a story? Yeah, I can't remember. Okay, so it was like a, it was just like if you go and you get a package, you know, from wherever, a bag, you know, that bag that you rip open. So mom received a gift in that bag, but it was already ripped open and had somebody else's name on it. And dad gave you that. And I said, this is terrible. Dad's going to hell for that. <laughs> and then he thought it was funny. And I'm like, that's not funny. And mom was not, she was not happy. And I was like, dad's like, oh, who cares about Christmas? He's such a Grinch. He's like, yeah, every day is Christmas. So I'm like, yeah, dad, just because you don't maybe enjoy it as much, don't ruin everybody else's experience, you know? Because even when I get older, I still like to open stuff and, you know. Well, Christmas is my mother's favorite holiday and no one's going to mess it up for her. You can't even get her to open anything until Christmas. Right, like I, I love Christmas. I like the, the joy, everyone's happy. Like I like all that stuff, but this dude, oh, you're dropping our ornaments. Ooh, that's a good thing. What up? Uh, what is your? <laughs> Imagine the whole Sit table. Sit still. Imagine the whole table fell. What is your favorite Christmas snack? I like the chocolate bombs. Yes. I didn't I tell y'all my mom could do everything. Yo, my mom could make chocolate bombs, like the best chocolate bombs you'll ever have. And if you don't know what they are, they're hot chocolate, like a hot chocolate ball. And so you heat up milk. Well. We could take a picture and show them. Yeah, well, 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 this is what it looks like right here. I don't think, in general, cocoa tastes good. Tastes good with water. Yeah, I think. No matter do. who likes hot chocolate, hot chocolate was meant to be hot chocolate. You warm the milk on the stove until it gets to a boil, and then you pour it in your chocolate. That's pure, nice, warm cozy hot chocolate not the hot chocolate you put water in it and warm it in the yeah, microwave that's nasty no. if y'all do that y'all need to try it with milk it'll change your life because hot chocolate water is just nasty who so does that anyone in general who likes cocoa or hot chocolate doing it with water is not the way and if you've never tried it with the milk there's a first time for any everything and believe me you won't be disappointed right. what you do is you put the milk in the cup so you make sure you don't pour too much in the pot and then you take that amount from the cup put it in the pot put it to a boil once you see the milk rise you turn it off immediately and then you pour it in your hot chocolate and you mix it up you'll definitely love it okay so you explain how to do it with a regular hot chocolate how do you do it with your chocolate bomb so if somebody buys you a chocolate bomb when when you buy her chocolate bomb you get a, a cup big enough to fit the bomb first then you easily put your chocolate bomb in the cup, get enough milk for your cup, boil it on the pot. Once it comes to a boil, you take the milk and you pour it over the chocolate bomb slow so the bomb melts. And when it bursts open, you'll get some treats and prizes in, in, inside. Yes. Okay, Ma, I got another question. Uh, you haven't answered anything. Because you, all right, let's see. How can I ask anything you know, from over here playing with frosting? Right, okay, I'll answer it too. Uh, what did I just ask you? Oh, favorite uh, Christmas tradition? No, snack. I think our house is going to fall apart. Well, we need to keep pressing it together. I think my, I would say my, my favorite holiday snack is the chocolate bombs too. You feel like that. You just said hold it. No, I'm saying we gotta periodically just make sure it's together. Okay, I would say my favorite, my favorite, my favorite, uh, um, holiday snack are chocolate bombs too. Cause when she be making them for other people, I'd be like, mom, did you make an extra one for me? <laughs> Definitely the chocolate bombs. I wanna make sure they hear us. You're loud enough, believe me, everybody in the world can hear you from here. 
This is a good one. Okay, y'all. If it's a movie, a show, anything where my mom could, could sit down and watch it, she'll even stand up and watch it, probably. She watches everything. If y'all got any movies, shows, drop them down below in the comments. I'll let her know because I'm sure she'll go watch it. Oh, I know. See, look. Wait. You asked the question, what is the best Christmas gift I ever received? Yeah. So, not that... I, I am grateful for everything. I'm grateful for nothing. I'm grateful for something. I'm grateful for my family and my life. But I will say, the best Christmas gift that myself and my mother received is I found my brother. Ooh. And my, my mother found her son. Uncle Darwin, shout out to you! We've been searching for him. I want to say since I was maybe 16, 17, and you know, in the 80s and 90s, social media and all that wasn't available, so searching for people were easy. Unless she was like on some TV show like Mari Povich or something where they help you find your lost loved ones. But after searching for him for 32 years, and I will say it's a blessing that he's still here with us and we will unite very soon in 2023. Yeah! And your gift? Sorry. I don't know, I've, re I've received a lot of good gifts. My favorite one though? I'll tell you what it is. What? Getting a phone with more storage. <laughs> yeah, y'all, remember I told y'all in the videos of Dad versus Moody? I'll tell y'all, my, my phone is always telling me Y'all see, if y'all watching the videos, you know, my phone is always telling me I'm over here running out of storage. So, I am, uh, definitely grateful for that. I would say, I don't know, I've, I've received a lot of great things. But I will say, it, it wasn't really, like, Christmas. Am I not speaking loud enough? Oh, am I yelling? Very much. So, do I need to yell? No, probably not. Oh. I just talk loud sometimes. Okay, so my favorite Christmas gift is... It probably wasn't even like a... Mom, I know you know I'm struggling with this beard. You're the one who wanted to do a special Christmas. <laughs> I, I did. I wanted to do this for y'all. I wanted the whole attire, the whole fit, everything. It, well, I need some too. Let me get some bananas. Grab it. Oh, you want bananas? I would say my... my uh, it's not even maybe a Christmas. It was for Thanksgiving, but mama coming here because y'all mama she lived here and she moved she went back home because it's cold or whatever she retired back home so i've been trying to get her to she's come back like once or twice i look look at that santa beard all in the ice please be careful i've been trying to tell her like mama when you coming back when you coming back i'm not coming back you guys come here and i'm like it's easier for you to come here than for us to go there. So yeah, my, mama um, coming here for Thanksgiving was really fun. What's your, what's, okay, it doesn't have to be your favorite, or, or it could be, what's your favorite Christmas movies? Do top three, like not top three, but just three. They don't have to be in order, unless you have a favorite. Look at, I say movie, look at her, just excited. Man from Christmas Vacation. Okay. Um, I can't remember the name and I didn't, find it we got minions y'all i want to put him right here guards my favorite christmas movie i don't be into movies like mom do but i do watch them because i don't i don't have that much time to just be watching shows be like oh you never watched this you never saw this you never no because i'd be doing stuff y'all okay that's why I don't know. We we saw we saw a little bit yesterday, the, probably the middle of it. I would say it, it's the, one of the classics, Home Alone. We were watching it yesterday. We caught the part where they tried to get in. All the ornaments were on the floor. I gotta go with the classic one, Home Alone. Almost Christmas. That's the name of it. Almost Christmas. I never heard of that. Yes. So almost Christmas. Lampoon Christmas Vacation. Almost Christmas. This. Christmas. Oh, that's a good one with Chris Brown. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's on my list too. This Christmas. This too, yeah, it's definitely. Um, the Grinch. Oh, that too. See? I like Home Alone. I mean, I, I watch them all. I mean, I wish they made a Jurassic Park Christmas movie. That would be cool. If 
you know how many times this woman has watched all the Jurassic Parks, and when it comes on TV, she gets all excited like she's never seen it 80 times before. Like she didn't see it the day before. That would be cool though, Mom. I grew up as a child just always fascinated, and my mom would always make me movies on the weekends, and that's what we did. We watched movies. I don't know. That's how I got hooked on watching lots of movies. What in Jesus' name is going on over there? There's nothing over there. Look! So they know who I am. I, I, I have nothing to say. Y'all, so they know they know whose house it is. <laughs> that's mom's side. That's my side. This is mom's side so far. There's nothing. Put something on the icing. I am. I'm working on it. Do you open Do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? We, I let you open one gift. Yeah, she does. And I'd be Before so happy to. Are you an early or late Christmas shopper? Um, I'm not an early, like, people be shopping in June, July. I don't do like that. But in our household, there's no little ones anymore, surprisingly, because I do feel like there's a little one in the house sometimes. That being said, you're talking about me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yeah, I'm really a big kid. <laughs> um, or maybe a little kid. So I just go along and listen to conversations and hear complaints. <gasps> Our about... house is falling. Well, make it stay. No, we're here. Why aren't you paying attention to your side? It's not enough icing. Well, you got a whole bag. I think we need more. Ah! Icing, icing, here. Put a lot, not a little. Don't be afraid to use it. They gave you enough. The tea's coming off too. Oh, put the, some on the bottom now since you removed it. The foundation of the house. I didn't do good. I'm not a cunt. Don't ask me to build your home. I'm not it. <laughs> Check the other side. Ah, oh, my guards fell and everything. Why am I just? Young? Yeah, you're always yelling. Because <laughs> I think people can't hear me. No, trust me. We can hear you loud and clear. Pay attention. Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, that sounds terrible. Plop it on there. Plop, mofo. Plop, plop. Meet me halfway. Right at the borderline is where I want to wait. For yeah. you. Remember that song? I would say shove a guard under it so it don't move. Dang, we got our minions. <laughs> Stop it! Do you have a beard in your mouth? How are you gonna tell me to stop it? I'm slipping, falling, can't get up. Maybe I need one on my side. Who created gingerbread houses? This is terrible. Sliding off. How do you do that? No! Yeah, it's falling. I feel like this is cutting circulation off my lips. Take off your. Sorry, y'all. I was trying to do it for you. Do you prefer to attend a party for New Year's Eve or stay at home? I'm home. I'm a homebody person. Me too. Not that, you know, if you invite me, that's fine. But if anybody, like I tell my friends, the little bit that I have. If y'all need me, you know where to find me. Cause I'm home, minding my business, doing whatever. I'm at peace at home. I ain't in nobody drama in the streets. Cause you know, I'm for the, the sheets, not the streets. <laughs> <laughs> my what? Boy, if you don't. But no, me too, I, I would prefer to be home for sure. But yeah, if you invite me, I'll go. But I just, be, yeah. That's a lie, because she ain't going somewhere today. Yeah, you're right. It depends. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Correct yourself. I won't, I won't go. Yeah, dude, well, just because people invite me doesn't mean I'm going to, like, go. But if I want to, I will. But I would prefer to be home. What's your New Year's resolution? I don't have one. I live life as it goes. I'm grateful. I can't predict what's going to happen every day. But I just... 
Yeah, I don't have one. I just go with the flow and say my thank yous to the Almighty. And as much as I can, your fingers look nasty. Spend my time with my family and my mom and my auntie Cookie and now my brother and support my daughter and I wish they gave softer candies. Do some, you just look so plain. Okay, well my New Year's resolution. I said G's and you added to the roof. Oh, my bad. <laughs> well, my New Year's resolution is to drive me crazy. No. Um, I don't know. It's just, you know, a lot of things I want to do and accomplish, but it's really just uh, a variety of things, you know, staying healthy, um, being more consistent, uh, you know, securing all the bags 2023, spending more time with family, you know, becoming more aware. Um, I actually wrote some things down, you know, being less wasteful, spreading more love and joy, you know. Obviously, I'm not going to tell y'all everything because y'all know I don't be telling y'all everything. Yeah, man, just me and my parents just continuing to grow, getting better. My family, you know, health, wealth, all of us being healthy and, and reaching all our goals and securing all bags 2023, okay? We could probably do like one or two more questions, Mom, and then we got to get Dad so he can, he can raid our house. This says, go home with family for the holidays or Disney World by yourself. What the heck? Disney World is not my place. <laughs> I know. I've been there once, probably when I was eight years old. I've never been there again. Not that I don't want to. I just, I mean, it's not a place that I go crazy for. I Ooh. mean, there's a, our next door neighbors love Disney. They be at Disney every month. Even their license plates are named after Disney. <laughs> That's how much they love Disney. That's why their lesson play is goofy. Yeah, I'm, they love Disney. I never understood. I think they uh, got married. Two weddings, one at Disney and one at home. Oh, all right, Ma, let's end it with this one. Then we got to get Dad. Daddy! Why are you yelling? You could have just called him. You're right. I saw that. Nothing to see. Daddy, I need you to come down here and be in the video for two minutes. I need you to, to see our gingerbread house. Say hi to the God Game fan. Are you coming? Yeah. Okay, he's coming. Use three words to describe your to describe 2021. 2021? Oh shoot, 2022. <laughs> Crazy. Well, I said three. That's one. Uh, emotional and uh, grateful. It's good. Reflecting back on 2022, I would say. Oh yeah, y'all. There's also gonna be. I'm gonna do a year end review of all the different things that I've done. I mean, we've done this year and events that I've done. So make sure you guys go watch that as well. Um, Cause this is just like me and mom doing our gingerbread house but there's gonna be a year in review where you see everything that happens here and we are grateful that you take time out of your schedule to watch her videos yes goggy fam i appreciate y'all man i would say wisdom like wise like just learning a word in that category i would say also grateful um checking the roof oh i would say also grateful um Dang, this is hard. I'm really trying to think, you know? Well, this is not really, I would say self-love. Like, learning. It was, I don't know, this year was fun. Learning, you know, continuing to learn. Um, you know, uh, just self-love. It was fun. That's definitely more than three words, y'all. I just want to eat the, the, I don't even want to eat the, 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 the candies are too hard. Y'all, we just waiting for this mofo to come downstairs. I don't know what's taking nice. Days. Oh, but when he calls me names, he brought you into this world. So that's an excuse. That's okay. That, that's the reason he can call me names. It doesn't matter if you're five or if you're 50. Don't ever disrespect them. Don't ever cuss at them. And don't ever yell at them. You yell at me all the time. I'm talking about y'all children to your parents. See, though. No. 
Reciprocation, okay? Oh, here comes the shoes. Oh, the African baby coming. You guys like our gingerbread house? Why are you yelling? We think the camera can literally hear you. Lord Almighty. I think when the camera comes on, I just I just get loud. Y'all don't feel like she's yelling at y'all when y'all be watching these videos? <laughs> all for the camera. I like to stay behind the scenes. That's my role. That's why you don't see me. There's no need to see me. My job is just to do the, be the helper. <laughs> yeah, I need, you, I need you to come to your mom. She's so yeah. extra. So, this is our house. See, so they know whose house it is. Got the two G's. So you know I did that side. And it's mommy's side. And then that's the bag. What do you think? Very nice. Very Yay! Nice. Good job, mommy. So we'll just end it with this, y'all. From our family to yours, happy holidays, happy new year. We love y'all, God Gay Fam. We appreciate you guys for everything, for all the support from like when I was like little. Whenever you you join the God Gay Fam, we appreciate. It. Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa. To right. We um, don't discriminate. We, we don't appreciate. It. We don't discriminate. We appreciate. Go to jazzmason.com, y'all. Y'all get you your merch. Many blessings to your family. We got. Wait, wait, dang, we, wait, dang. We gotta, we gotta say bye together. So we got a new shirt. Let me know in the comments what you think. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put a video of me bowling in here so you can see the front and the back. Let me know if you order it right now. If you will, I'll make it public, okay? Wait, we, we gotta we gotta do our proper uh, get close. The first one? Yes. Okay, y'all, we love you. See you next year, 2023. Well, I'm gonna be posting more videos, but I mean like as far okay. Love you. Bring it in, family. <sighs> Bye! Bye. Last thing too, go to jazzmason.com like I said, go get you your GG merch, but you can also too go and and there's something there. Go to jazzmason. Go to jazzmason.com y'all and get you your GG merch and Jazzmason Foundation merch y'all. All of the proceeds from that, we have t-shirts for the foundation. We have rosin bags. All that gets donated back to the foundation. And it helps the kids with the different programs we have. Like, you're helping um, send kids to all the different programs. Those who don't have opportunities. You know, those who may not have opportunities, you guys are helping them. And that's what we want to do. We want to help everybody that we can. Right. You guys are helping send them to Wichita um, State University so they get, like, a college experience. They can train with the college coaches. You're helping them go to bowl different tournaments where they come with thousands of dollars in scholarship money. You're helping them with the BGCB2 experience. Get to train with Hall of Fame coach, legend coach Kim Terrell and coach Eric Kearney. Okay? So you guys are making a difference. So even if you don't even want to buy GG, which you should anyway... Go and get the Jazz Mason Foundation merch too, okay? It Love y'all. It is a legitimate foundation. It is an IRS 501c3 registered with the federal government, all tax deductible. So it is not something that you think money is not going back out into the universe because it is. I'll be trying to tell him, uh, I'm like, yo, the IRS will lock us up, bro, if we don't do things the right way, okay? So this is not just something that we just attach the name foundation to it. It wasn't a one, two, three. It was a process and building right. and doing everything the right way. Right. Um, and I have to keep saying it because people keep asking, like, oh, is this lit? Yes, it's real, okay? Dang. I'm, dude, I guess I'll keep saying it until I don't know more. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. Feliz Navidad. Hey! Feliz Navidad. Mi sueño vamos felicidad. I don't know if those are the words, but it sounds like those are the words. So, y'all be speaking Spanish a little bit. Pequito. Yo habla espanol pequito.
No habla español mucho. Muy poquito. ¡Eso! ¡Ay! ¡Ay!